Infinity Cube out of Lego. So basically, this is our Infinity Cubes we built. It's just like a fidget toy. It's super fun to play with. Sometimes it breaks, but it's super easy to repair. You can't repair it, you can build it again. Yep, and, and that's super easy. easy. Super easy, because we're gonna show you guys. I love to play with it, it's so addicting. It's the next fidget toy. So guys, to build this Infinity Cube, you're gonna need eight of these inverted brackets. 24 of these rectangular two by one pieces, um, eight hinges, eight of these flat rectangular pieces, one by two, and eight square flat pieces. All right, so we're gonna start building. So the first step is to put these two pieces like this together and put them on an inverted bracket and do it for all of the inverted brackets. So we are all done, so you should end up with eight inverted brackets with two pieces on them like this. So the next step is just to position two of these pieces like that. Just like this. And then flip them over to you, and you end up with something like that. So now you have to put a hinge like this towards you on both of them just like that and then get um wait and get one of some some of these flat pieces and put them right there do the same the other four except the other way around this might be a little tricky at first but you'll get it Just like that. And do the same with the hinges and the other flat pieces. Put the opposite way. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Alrighty, almost finished. So this is what you should end up right now. Something that looks like this. Ronald, why don't you tell us the next step? All right, so the next step is to take one of these that you just made, and then take the opposite one of it, and then put them together. Like a couch. Like we that. call it couch style. Mm -hmm. Same with the others. After that, you got grab these hinges and put it just like this, and right here in the slot for both of them. So the next step I'd like to call the cushion step. So basically you take two flat pieces and put it over the hinge like this. And then take two more and put it couches on the Cushions on the other couch. So there you go, you should end up with something like this. Next up, you're gonna be putting these pieces on the side right here, right in front of the couch. Just like this. And for the other one too. Yep. Oops. There we go. Okay. 
All right, so the next step is go to your couch form where you made the cushions. All right. And then flip the couch towards you. And then you should get this kind of design. But in like that, colors. with the little tiny bunny ear on the bottom, on the floor or table. Alrighty. So, and then you take two square flat pieces and you put them kind of in the middle, like this. And then for the other one too. After that, you're gonna need these one by two pieces and put them on the sides to fill in those gaps for both couches. Oh yeah. So the next step is to put the two of the flat sides together like this. And you should see something like this with four hinges facing you. But if it's not like that, just flip um, the side that doesn't have two hinges on it like this. So the next, so Karina, you wanna tell us the next step? All right, so you're gonna put another hinge, but the little tiny like, Another circle thing, finger. Circle thing will be facing down to the table or floor. This step might be a little bit tricky, but it's kind of easy to do at the same time. Eh, this is the part I mostly struggle on. So we're almost finished, guys. We just need to do a little bit more decorating so it looks a little bit more pretty. So what you gotta do is you see those four flat pieces I got here? You, the very last ones. You gotta go to the side of it, like this, and then put the flat pieces here, like this. And on the other side. Where you put the hinges, basically, facing the floor of the table. Mm-hmm. There you have it, it's your infinity cube. Yep. we built our very own infinity cube. Infinity Cube and you guys can too. It's a great fidget toy, it's really fun to play with. And you can take this to school because teachers will think it's just a smart Lego toy. Yep. And it's soundless. Just a little bit of clicking, that's it. You can kind of use it as a fidget spinner. If you put it in this position, mm -hmm. and you spin it. That's the cool design you got there. And then you can do this. But the coolest part is that it's infinity. You can keep folding and folding and, and folding, folding and it will folding. never, ever, ever end. And it's made out of Lego. That's a cool part too. So guys, we hope you like this video. If you did, smash that like button and we'll see you all next time. Good.